What's up, Panda? It's Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I uh, bought myself a flashlight. Um, I don't know why I like flashlights so much. Maybe I'm scared of the dark or something, but uh, they're just cool, man. They, uh, I, I think uh, what the my attraction to them is big impact, small package. So um, you can never really have enough flashlights whether around the house. You need them in dark corners. You go camping, uh, whatever. You, you know, you can have a bunch of these all over the place. Put them in your car, your your day packs, what have you. So. This one is pretty cool, and I want to show it to you because I think you get a lot for five bucks ish or less, uh, depending where you find this thing. This is a uh, HWA Ways. I don't know if that's I'm getting that wrong or something. Ultra Fire. It's a Cree Q5, and it's pretty small. You know, fits in the palm of my hand here. Uh, probably about the size of a you know a, a thick Bic lighter or something like that. It's black. I have actually I, I've I've liked this flashlight so much, I ordered a few more. I actually ordered them in different colors. Um, presumably, it's like an anodized aluminum finish, although I'd say it's, you know, um, I, I don't know in the colored ones. I assume they're anodized, too. They're in red, blue, gray. I ordered in gray, kind of like the, uh, the kind of more neutral colors. But um, it's small, compact. First of all, I'll show you here. On the front, it has a little bit of this... Uh, turret styled uh, edge here so you can kind of um, you know you could kind of wedge it into something soft if you needed to the uh, the the lens here seems to be a fairly solid substantial piece of glass it is really curved if you see that it kind of looks like you're you've got the top quarter part of a marble um, why that's important is this piece which screws on and off so you can actually get to um, I should say it's an LED flashlight, uh, so you can get to the light bulb, the, the LED uh, bulb and everything is in there, is, and it's just a single LED bulb, and you can see it right there. Um, you screw the sucker all the way down, and then, and I should say that there's two pieces here. This one with a little bit of knurling is actually a second piece from this top part, so you can actually screw this top part off. Um, I don't know that there's any point to doing it, but it, it pulls off the glass. Um, you can lift off the glass and presumably replace the uh, LED uh, bulb if you needed to. I'm not sure why you would need to do that, but just a single LED circuit in there, or diode, I should say. Um, but the cool thing is once you've got it screwed on, this whole housing, this whole piece here uh, moves up and down. Now, the, um, the LED portion stays in the same place. So what you're doing is you're kind of moving the glass further and closer to the LED uh, diode. And so you actually have a fairly good amount of control over the focus and the spread of the light pattern. Um, so it does make kind of a cool tactical light. I'm gonna show you after I get done here, kind of walking through the hardware, uh, what that light looks like because it's kind of interesting. Um, below the, the light housing portion here, you have these uh, ribbed, um, uh, this ribbed area here. Uh, they also have these indentations, uh, six of them. They're kind of cuts in there. It actually makes it really easy to grip. Um, you know, the, the kind of cool thing is this grippy area doesn't change, and so it doesn't matter where you have your, how you have your light focused with this piece here. Um, there's some knurling here on this centerpiece. I like that it's um, it's kind of uh, milled out more here. It's kind of choked up because you have this, uh, you know, fairly thin but very strong clip. And uh, the nice thing is if you're clipping this onto, you know, a, ba uh, a backpack shoulder strap or in your pocket or a belt, um, you can have a fairly thick piece of fabric or, or material in here and it's not going to get pinched and, and, and cut up and you know it's you know this is a pretty nice uh, sturdy clip and once you get it on there this should be pretty pretty well attached there's a couple of uh, screws here with uh, the required allen key to get it on and off and then this kind of collar up here I have beat it up a little bit if this thing isn't obviously um, I don't know if maybe aircraft quality aluminum but kind of took a, a bang there through my uh, normal use and, and kind of got uh, nicked up 
but I certainly, like I said, at this price point, don't fault it for that. And then you have a rubberized button here to turn this sucker on and off. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no, um, there's nothing other than on or off, no strobe, no function like that, but a nice soft kind of, actually it might be silicone, I, you know, I'm not entirely sure, but very flexible um, and uh, easy to actuate, nice solid click. You definitely know that you've clicked it on or off. And then the, the back here, this very top piece, also unscrews. And I should have mentioned that on the top and the bottom here, there is a little O-ring uh, so you just, uh, so presumably will stay watertight. I haven't had any problems with it. The battery here, it looks like a double A, but it's uh, one of those 14 500s, I believe. Um, so it's a lithium ion. You can actually put it in the front or at the top. Um, the, the interesting thing is, uh, I assume that that's the battery that this requires. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I actually, when I first got it, I threw in a couple of these CR2s cause I didn't have the 14 500 and just like that and that these worked fine too and in fact i think they fit a little bit better uh, and i'm not sure if you know it's meant for that but at least on um see see i actually think the cr2s fit just a little bit better but um as far as i can tell in the documentation this is the recommended one and if most of the time when you buy like these 14 500 batteries they come with a little uh, wall charger so rechargeable stay green but uh, kind of those lithium-based batteries last for a really, really long time. So the cool thing is, you know, you don't have uh, as much access to the ubiquitous AA batteries or anything like that. But um, the low uh, power consumption that uh, the flashlights, that the LEDs require is pretty nice. Now let's go uh, grab some dark area. Let me show you the light. Well, this is not completely dark. As you can see, I've got a little light coming in in various places. But I wanted to give myself a little bit of a... Um, some room to show you show you kind of how the light pattern works here. I'm gonna turn it on, and this is with the light in it, the flashlight in its most compact state. So I've got the, uh, the 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 bulb or the glass pressed all the way down here, and now if I push it out, I'll go ahead and push that that out. You can see it get, comes out to a much smaller pencil beam. Now what's really interesting here, and it might be a little hard to show you, is that. The beam gets is so well focused that let me see if uh, yeah it might, it's gonna be really hard because you know the it, it, it kind of glares out a little bit but the uh, you can actually see the square and the shape of the LED diode is how sharp it gets once you once you back it out you can't but once you get up to that final position you can see the the square lines and I can actually see the the inside, um, there are some dark areas inside of that middle uh, square there that uh, you can see. You can oh, you can see it better there. The red wall. You can see what I'm talking about. You can actually see the the outline of the diode. So, man, when you get this sucker to kind of this pencil beam, it's pretty impressive. Now, again, most of the time you're going to probably pull it out just a little bit, or for its widest beam, that's kind of the the cast I'm about. I'm standing about five feet away from the wall. The the flashlight's only about four feet of the way from the wall, so um, at that distance, it's it's kind of casting about maybe a, a three foot uh, circle. So um, you know, and then you can go all the way down your pencil beam. So you certainly could use it as it's like a tactical flashlight, but just as something you can slip in your pocket, take hiking, throw on a backpack. They're very light, they're very compact. You know, just a good flashlight overall to have. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Peter Von Panda out.